It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1804, recorded Thursday, November 5th, 2020. Mr. Rogers' Mugshot. This episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D has the most unusual boxing of a product ever. You get to find out my new theme for the month, and we get to find out together what the heck was it. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, Elite Gamer, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, <laughs> Dickie D? Elite Gamer. Uh, let's see. Um, Tetris is Te about the only <laughs> game I have ever played on the computer. That is, that's, uh, any anything, what's the most recent game you played, including um, like board games? Uh, Tetris. <laughs> Tetris still. <laughs> Only wow. because I, I bought, and it'd be a gadget down the road, there was a phone case that has games built into it. Ah. ah. And, and the only game on the phone case that I knew was Tetris, Tetris. so I played it for a little bit. Pretty good. So that's how non gamey I am. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, uh, you know, in a way. Like, like you were just so an it's it's the analog way. It's great. Yes. It's great. Yeah. Absolutely. And I don't know if you've noticed, um, analog gaming is, I feel like having a huge resurgence. I mean, board games have become crazy popular. Oh yes, yes. Crazy. With with everybody staying home, it is a yeah oh things that. Uh, boat sales are through the roof. It's very, very difficult to get a new boat because the, they sold out everything they built. I've heard that with cars and, too. Now and, everyone's and RVs. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and also um, homes that aren't in New York City. <laughs> that is correct. That uh, is correct. Yeah. Uh, it is the first time where you can get a deal on rent in New York City. Yeah. The, uh, it, it's ridiculous. And also the subways and the buses are pretty much empty, but traffic on the highway is like always wall to wall because people don't want public transportation, which is why car sales are through the roof because it's safer to be in a car than on something public. It's really this, uh, this 19 has really changed a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, what have you been up to this last week? Uh, oh, well, you know, I sent you a photo because you know about Murphy's Law, right? Yes. Anything well, that can go wrong will. Yes. This was the most bizarre example of Murphy's Law ever. So show the photo and I'll tell you what it is. Okay. All right. So there's a stool. Okay. About three times a year, I go out to the front of my building to readjust my security camera. Mm -hmm. now, it doesn't, it doesn't aim at my front door. It aims at two buildings on the corner. And the reason is between 1230 and two o'clock, the mail truck comes and parks for maybe three minutes. It takes the new mail to two big apartment buildings and picks up two boxes of mail, outgoing mail from the tenants in those two buildings. So I have three minutes to see the truck is there and to take my mail down and get it on the truck. Right. And with wind and everything, the camera shifts a little. So I'm on that stool today and it's 60, 63 and sunny. I start getting dripped on mm -hmm. and I look up and it's someone's <sighs> air conditioner. And as I look up, you know, air conditioners can yeah. hold a certain amount of water and then the little thing opens. Right. Well, it opens <laughs> and dumps the water on me. I can see this this spot of uh, of water yes, here. Yes, look at everything is dry. <laughs> everything is dry except exactly where I'm working on the camera. You that can even see the garbage so cans got a little bit. Yeah. Here. 
I think that was fall off from your shoulders, most likely. (laughs) Probably. And I'm thinking, how could this be? How (laughs) can this be? Uh, Anyway, uh, so later Dennis was uh, Dennis said, oh, you know, the the woman in five uh, F uh, she's painting her apartment herself. And I said, oh, she must be painting her apartment. She probably put her air conditioning on full to get the fumes out. It's filled with uh, vapor, uh, and she <laughs> chose that minute uh, to dump the water on it. So it was very funny. It's very funny. Yikes. And um, also, in the wintertime, I mean, this has got to be... Yes, that's, yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. You're absolutely right. Oh my my air conditioner last week, I covered it with plastic, and because it was 42 as, as the high, and evidently we're going to have four days where it's 70. We're going boating tomorrow. So, uh, I'll take anything I can get. I, I'll take anything <laughs> I can get in, in the warmth department. That's amazing. How about you? Anything thrilling? Uh, let me think. Um, I've been, I've been trying a new, uh, scheduling with my videos and, uh, we kind of ran into an issue today where, uh, so what I normally do is I record my, all my YouTube videos offline and then edit them and then, and then post them. Um, but I've been thinking recently, why don't I live stream my recordings? And so we scheduled a recording right before the Gizwiz. Um, it actually, te- it was not right before the Gizwiz. It was four hours before the Gizwiz. It just ran long. And so oh, okay. it happened right before the Gizwiz. But that means I've, I've live streamed every weekday this week. So pretty happy wow. about that. Um, getting, getting into some more live streaming on Twitch. Oh, so. wow. Okay. Well, it was very funny because today was the first time um, I'm going to do a thing, uh, a gadget from Kingston and, and I know the guy David there. And I said, listen, I've never recorded something with Skype and is it okay? I'll record it. And then I'll, I'll play back the first minute of it. I go do it again. So did you know that if you're using team, do you know what team is teams from, from Microsoft? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, okay. He was on Skype. But at the top of my screen, it said the person you are talking to is using team on Skype Hmm. and consequently some features are not available. And Uh, what feature is not available? Recording. Record. Of course. So interesting. (laughs) So Skype, the way Microsoft has been trying to monetize it is to make it so super business focused. So lately their business focus has been on teams which is kind of a competitor to slack if you've seen slack and messaged around in slack i've been slack but i don't (laughs) i have a pair of slacks but uh i haven't been (laughs) in a slack chat so yeah so uh, but that integration so he must have been joining from an account that was on a team's account and they're like, ooh, no, uh, this is corporate. You might be recording corporate secrets. Oh, we gotta oh, shut okay. this down. That's okay. crazy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So when I show that video, it's my phone mm. on a tiny little tripod filming my <laughs> monitor. <laughs> so at least he had a workaround because yeah, he, he had work. set aside the time. Uh, anyway, we got we we got something. So just be aware of that, folks. Team and Skype do not play well together if you want to record uh, what you're doing. Boo. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, should we jump into stuff? Let's jump in. We got, this is a jam-packed episode because you have three gadgets. I have a new theme. We have a – we get to find out what the heck was it um, and a viewer video. So this is crazy uh, and episode. We find out, and we find out what the new thing is yes. for November, December. And this is the most unusual, uh, you said boxing, m- uh, most unusual unboxing ever. And here it is. Here we go. Recently, there was an event called Hop. I don't know if they called it Hop, but it was Holiday of Play. And they were talking about a new um, puppy, I guess. And did I want to do an unboxing? And I said, oh, you know, like unboxings is sort of ho-hum. And she said, this puppy unboxes itself. (laughs) I said, oh, really? Can you send me one? And so we can watch this? And they did. And we are. So I don't want to mess this up because it's a one-time deal. Okay. 
Uh, so I found this online, okay, over here. So it's unboxing. So we're gonna do. We'll follow it step by step. We'll unwrap the present. Pull the tabs and take off the outer wrapper. Next. Okay. Pull off the tab. And uh, uh, okay. I feel like I'm messing it up already. Oh no, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder how much of the cost of the product went oh, into oh the my box. Gosh, wait until you see oh, okay. how elaborate this is. No. All right, so we did part one. All right. Oh, look at it. Look, we have that exact picture now. Lift up the box and pull off the bottom tray. And stop there. All right. Stop. Open Super up. important. Uh, and take out the bottom tray. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It said. And stop there. I guess we don't need these anymore. All right. This is kind of fun. This is super important. Super important. You won't need to pull off any more layers. Take a look at the unboxing card to make sure you're facing the front of the box before the next step. Just look for the Present Pets logo. Are you ready? Make sure you're facing the front of the box. Pull the gift tag and... Ooh! Okay, so I assume we'll have the front of the box face you. All right. And let me just see. Uh-uh. Take the ba da ba ba ba. Okay. Pull. Pull tag. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Somebody locked a poor dog inside this box. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm glad Charlie's out here. Charlie would be, Charlie would be freaking out. <laughs> <She's> just... <laughs> what? So, and what I love is dog is working hard. It keeps and then... getting out of. Is this unbelievable? This is it? like the movie <laughs> Aliens or something. Yes. <laughs> hey, whoever you are in there, are you doing a good job? I see holes in the side. He's, get, he's getting really angry. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to turn it, but there's a hole in the side. Now we have holes in each side. Oh, oh. We see a puppy beginning. I hope we know... Look at the, <laughs> it's really getting at the box. It, it really. It, it Can you see the side? Astounding. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's throwing the crap out the side. <laughs> It's tired now. It, it took so really, long to get it, out. Look at, I, I don't wow, know how that, look at, look at I this. don't know how that. No wonder this, <laughs> it's magical. No wonder this puppy is tired. Oh my gosh. I even have peace. <laughs> did, did you get tickles? Are you tickles? Oh, oh, oh yeah, you like that part? <laughs> oh, you know what I, let's see if you, do you, do you sit down? Do you walk? Let's see what you do. Oh. He wants the box. This is home. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Okay. And uh, actually, the dog had all those tools inside the box, so it wasn't that magical. <laughs> you hungry? Is it an oh, escape like from Alcatraz tickle? moment? Tickle, tickle, do, do, do. All right, so we're gonna, we'll watch the rest of the video. <laughs> yeah, so we could just uh, show a couple of bits of the video because I, I obviously uh, anyway. didn't know what know what the dog does because it just unboxed itself. That is um, crazy. So you so, can go in at I think one fifty seven is where they talk about what the dog can do. It has a, it has a hundred actions and words and not words but barking effects. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Here's the their video. And then, and then try and think of what this thing sounds. Like. Present pets move around in the cutest ways. 
<laughs> there are three ways to interact with your new best friend. Petting her head, petting her belly, and pressing her back button. Petting her head puts her into cuddle mode and makes her want to snuggle with you. If you pet her belly, she gets super excited. Look at her go! Let's see Casey do a trick. Hold the back button first, then quickly pat her head. Good girl. Aw, it looks like Casey wants some more pets. If you don't play with your pet for a bit, she'll bark to get your attention. Okay, Casey, let's try bark back. Did you know uh, we can go, pets we can go can if you want. Wow. Uh, so there are four. Yeah, there are four of them. You you don't know what you're getting. Um, and, and in another video I saw, uh, it can imitate you. You bark like three times and take a break and then bark again. And then the dog does that. Wow. Uh, it, it's pretty neat. So it reminds me so much of Furby. If Furby, oh, yes, like escaped from its cage. <laughs> yes, yes. I I cannot figure out how? how that box, because the pieces out of it are at the top of the box, at the bottom of the box, and it tears the whole side of the box. I I. So what do you think that retails for? I mean. I would guess close to a hundred. That'd okay. be my guess. Char like, I, I feel like it can't be too much more. Like, a hundred and twenty seems like the maximum because it's a toy. But because it's also a toy, I feel like it needs to be in the sixty dollar area. But that is just too advanced to be sixty bucks. So okay. Well, like, I, all right. So first of all, you would you were, you were right on. It's okay. Uh. It's fifty bucks. It's forty nine ninety five. What forty nine? Yes. That's so yes. good. And I don't know if it's because they're just introducing it. Amazon and Walmart are knocking ten dollars off. So it's four. It's thirty five. It's thirty nine ninety nine. Oh my I, gosh! Th there you are. Th thirty. Actually, they knocked off another ten cents. It it's thirty nine eighty eight. Wow. I'm shocked by that. That that seems like if, if you got an a, a kid in this age range, that is the perfect Christmas gift. Yes, it's it's five and up. Uh, it's called Present Pets. And so the, the it, other it, thing it, really, it reminds me of is do you do you remember Hatchimals? Oh yes, that's the other yes. thing. Um, yes. Oh, that's right. The egg opened. Right. Right. And then, but you know what? It was. It was the egg open and then it grew up. Yeah. But this seems like there's so much, so many different actions involved of, I think Nick with a C said that the, well, you know what? I have the box here that all the working is in the box, but I, I guess it is, but still in all it's pretty amazing. I, I think this is the Hatchimal that I'm talking. Yeah. There's that box. God, but crazy. it doesn't look like a lot of levers or anything. I maybe it's, it's pretty in the neat. base. That, it's a magic trick. It definitely it, is. It, it works. Definitely is. Here's the thing, though. This Hatchimal. Oh, the, oh, okay. Oh, is, it breaks this. Oh, okay. It breaks the egg. I guess. Yeah, it breaks this egg open, so it kind of looks like this, and it uses the beak to do it. So the the breaking part is like part of the creature. Oh, okay. Um, I can't really find a good place to buy it. I just, I can't tell if it's like out of, it's just not this season's thing. Um, oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, it could be. Yeah, so now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask them, uh, for the other thing that they have is they have a, a truck that claws its way out of a box. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'll do that in a, I'll do that in a couple of weeks. That's um, crazy. Yeah. So yeah, if you're looking for an, a unique holiday gift for forty bucks, uh, check out. Uh, th and you can't pick the animal you want. Right, it, it's, it's a surprise animal. It's a surprise. It's called present, as in giving a present. Present pets. Adorable, adorable. Pretty, neat. really cool. Pretty, pretty neat. Um, okay, now a little something a little more mundane. Just a mug. And here it is. Hi, boys and girls. 
Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> okay. We're talking about the Mr. Rogers sweater changing mug. Okay. It evidently features quotes and song lyrics and images from his neighborhood of make believe. That was make believe. No, I guess it was make believe. I mean, it was like silly. It was like a grown man who had like a little trolley car that ran around. I mean, who who has that in their house? Uh, okay, so let's start. I've not opened it yet. Oh, mm -mm, ta -da oh, whoa. Okay. Now the object is that it's not for Charlie. All right, so there's a ton of stuff. The child is still in me and sometimes not so still. <laughs> Do you know that when you wonder, you're learning? I wonder if that's true. Okay, so the object here is when we put the water in, he will get out of his jacket and his, his sweater will appear. Uh, let's, I hope this can work. Okay, and that you can see it. I believe it is a 12 ounce mug and we're going to put the water in and then uh, I'll look at the notes about it and we'll see. So now I can't see what's happening so Dennis will tell me if indeed it's changing. I'm just looking here. Officially licensed, a great mug to sit from while watching the no, new it's happening. Rogers movie. I haven't seen that look movie yet. Look at that go! He changes from a jacket, inside jacket, jacket into a cardigan. Now, on, on Amazon, it got more than four stars, but a lot of people said that the the uh, color wears away quickly, but they still liked it. it was, I think it was more than 600 reviews. Um, the company says you have to be very careful washing it. Can't go in the dishwasher. It should be gently hand-washed. Is he in his sweater yet? <laughs> I'm going to turn it toward me to see. Uh, no. Oh, he is in his sweater. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I guess that's it. I was looking, I was looking, waiting for the bottom to change, but it didn't change. Oh, the, uh, it, it didn't. And it's a little expensive. It's 16 bucks. It's Amazon Prime. I'm trying to see what this arrow says. This arrow says... See, I don't know what it says. Remove this sticker, maybe. Anyway, that's the uh, action, and that's it. As I said, fifteen ninety-five. It's Amazon Prime. Free shipping if you're Amazon. That's the box it comes in. And you know, for a stocking stuffer, I mean, the thing is, people really loved Mr. Rogers. I, I saw him on the Johnny Carson show once, and. And, and as he spoke, Johnny Carson said, you know, just talking to you, I'm actually feeling relaxed. And, you know, it's that way with this mug. I suddenly feel like I want to get on my little trolley car and go for a ride. And I, I wonder if that's true. Oh, I guess I'm learning. But does his shoes change? That's the real question, because he's <laughs> yeah. That's he changes right. the jacket and the shoes. Yeah, and then it cheats. It doesn't change the bottom of his uh, right. Uh, the color of his sweater doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Um, anyway, it, it seems a little bit expensive, but he has a billion fans. I haven't even seen, did you happen to see the Tom Hanks movie? I actually want to see it at some point. I want to see it too. I have not seen it yet. Um, I did watch, there was a do, another documentary about him and I did watch Oh, the that. documentary I watched. That was yeah. very good. Yeah. That was very good. Um, but that's Mr. Rogers. Adorable. And he was, he was very innovative. And, and a lot of years. Oh, my so, God. So many years. So many yeah. years. So uh, that, that thing said Peel uh, Film. And the thing is, if everybody's saying the writing wears away quickly, I think you would destroy the mug if you tried to pe peel the film off because the film is what all the writing is on. So... 
I'm, I'm not sure what that sticker is doing there because it, it makes no sense. Um, anyway, that's Mr. Rogers. Nice. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Awesome. I like it. Perfect. Um, okay, and uh, the third thing, something I bought and uh, really like, and for me it solves a big problem. Okay, so I love my Disneyland background, and uh, it's great for doing Zoom calls. I've done a bunch of Zoom uh, meetings, and twice people said, is that a green screen uh, behind you that you have all that stuff? And I, and I roll my chair out of the way and I go, no, this is Disneyland. Tons uh, of mad stuff. It's a different story uh, with ABC because I don't always have the same director. And sometimes you'll get a director who'll say, oh, that background is awfully busy. Uh, could you put a sheet over that or something? So basically, we usually turn off all the lights and there's total blackness behind me. Occasionally, we do hang a sheet over it. Uh, but then I got to talking and we solved it like this. ta -da! So we bought a room divider on Amazon. And also, this is great because so many people are working at home. And if you if your office is your kitchen or you don't want to clean up, uh, you're in your bedroom and you don't want to make the bed or anything, you just get one of these guys and it unfolds at very light. Uh, the shipping weight was 20 pounds, so the unit itself is probably about, oh, I'm, I'm going to guess 16 or 17 pounds. It folds up uh, really easy, but wait, there's more, but this is neat. Is because it says, people said, is that rice paper really durable? I was going to say LEDs. And according to <laughs> the manufacturer, it's not rice paper. It's a, it's a fabric, a, an unwoven fabric to resemble rice paper so that it's more durable than rice paper. At least uh, that's what some of the reviews said. But I love the fact that you can light it from the back and also... The actual molding is on the front only, and the back is no molding. But if there's any backlight, it still will look like this because these bars make a shadow on the other side. But uh, I, I just I just love it, and it was <laughs> really inexpensive. It was under eighty bucks, okay. And I was looking around on Amazon. There's another seller on Amazon who sells the same thing for a hundred and two bucks. And so it comes in silver or gold. I like the silver a lot. And I just love this as a background. And it's so easy to move in and out uh, that you might need it if you're doing Zoom call. One of the reasons I hesitated getting a screen was where to put it. You know, uh, Disneyland has an awful lot of stuff. And I didn't know where to put a big screen. And then I suddenly got inspired. Wait a minute. There's a screen there. The new one would be the same height. If I just folded it up, I could put it at the end of that. And you wouldn't even notice it. Actually, you would notice it. And it looks really good because it hides... Um, a ton of crap in the back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lots of stuff in boxes. So I'm very happy with my new fourfold screen. Um, Ta da! So professional. Okay. Bye. That is nice. That is a nice looking it, it, option. Isn't that neat? It's very neat. Uh, uh, yeah. I, and I, I love. Uh, I love changing the colors on it. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, go right, right above. It seems like right above it's ninety eight dollars. Well, yeah, it is. Under the four funny? for yeah. a, a similar option. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. I was seriously when you're like, wait, but wait, there's more. I was gonna yell out LEDs and then oh, you, uh, <laughs> you shine. Well, yes, LEDs, but not on the uh, on the four panel screen divider. Yeah, I think it's great. I and like it. uh, 
you know, if you if if it's dark behind it, you wouldn't see that the hinge the that there's a slit between the hinges. Um, and it's it, we got it just in time because a week from Sunday I do ABC again, so I will dazzle them with its plainness. Perfect, nice, love it. Uh, there you go. It's it's called uh, Roundhill is the manufacturer's name. So it's the Roundhill four panel room divider. And if you need a big one, they actually make uh, a five panel and a six panel one. But the price jumps way up for the other ones since four panel is obviously the most popular choice. And, and uh, that looked like metal too. That was. Mm, it, that's the thing I like. It, it's it's it pine. Looks, it's painted oh, pine. It looks. But just like it metal. looks exactly. It looks like it's stainless or aluminum. Uh, it just fits in great. It's just great. great. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, October is gone. So now let's know about November. You don't need it, it, but, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. I'm going to try to hide. There you go. This is a what the heck is it right here. You don't know what the heck it is. So the patrons voted and the options were okay. between, let me pull it up. Um, oh, it looks like some votes came in, which is good actually. Uh, so the options were between photography, thrift store, or fall cleaning gadgets. This is a kind of a take on spring cleaning gadgets. But uh, fall, I, fall cleaning. I think they're going to, I think they're, they would like, uh, thrift store gadgets. You know our my, audience. You know our yeah, audience. Yeah, that would that would be my my thing. It squeaked oh, by yeah. earlier <laughs> today. Look at, look at where cleaning. It is. was it was tied like it, a few hours ago. And oh, okay. This morning, thrift store was winning by one vote. So I went out and bought a thrift store gadget, and then it was tied. So I was worried, and then it looks like it it just went ahead. So thrift store is the theme which we've done before so this is this is kind of a a relook at thrift store i think it was a year and a half ago um but this is my thrift store gadget i recorded a video about it so let's check God, it out i have no idea what that is <laughs> yeah we'll we'll find out together Hey Diggity, so we are here with a new theme for the month. And this month's theme is thrift store gadgets. So I took a trip over to Goodwill and got this. Obviously there's no packaging, there's no, you know, it's not quite like a normal product. So it was already uh, out of the packaging. There's a little bit of tape residue on it. Uh, do rest assured that I did clean the inside. It is a bagel slicer, but not just some old fashioned uh, manual slicer. This thing is motorized. Oh so my gosh. Uh, I got some uh, unsliced bagels to test it out here. So inside you have uh, the blades and the blades are like, uh, like, you know, actually serrated blades. There's two of them. So you can actually pull it apart here. Uh, this is what I was doing earlier to clean it. So both blades are right here with the top off. It will not start. You can hit that button as much as you want. Uh, and you just pull these guys out. Here are the blades, freshly cleaned. And they split apart just like that. So this is how this works. And then these, I guess, go in a like a scissor fashion oh. to cut your bagel. Inside of the chute, there are these like metal way, you know, metal ways to get the bagel down in there so we can put it all back together right, there we go and now we are ready to slice a bagel so i went and got some bagels this first one has a whole bunch of cheese in it uh the shoot is where it'll come out here let's close it up first let's put that thing in there get the top start it uh-oh I guess I need the uh, the actual uh, pusher. There we go. Okay, it sliced. Ooh, it sliced oh, really nicely wow. too. Look at that. There we go. Two halves wow. of a bagel. Let me get a plate. 
that bagel is good to go. I'm just gonna keep the door open for this next one. This is like cinnamon and uh, raisin, I guess. So there is a, a stopper in here to make sure that the top is actually pushing down and that's why it wasn't working before. So you have to have the top on it for it to push. And there we go. A little, a little uneven. So this is a little thin over here, but that's looking good. And then we will finish off our bagel slicer with just a plain bagel. These are pretty large bagels. If you ask me, throw that in there. It fits. Even wow, that's at a big point. Uh, it fits pretty well. So we'll slice this one up. And there we go. A nicely sliced bagel. I'd say that it works. Hooray! A thrift store find that works great. It's a little large. I wish it was a little smaller. I don't think I'd want to keep this out on uh, my countertop all the time, but whenever you're slicing bagels, there you go. You got a very clean cut with this bagel slicer. I've used manual ones in the past and it definitely, it's not this easy. Uh, so that's nice. So obviously it being a thrift store find, it's not really super available around, but I did find some on eBay and they're oh they're not that cheap. This one's thirty seven dollars. Oh, and that's the very that's the that's the uh, exact, exact one oh, I got. Oh, and it that one's used. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh, wow. And then thirty dollars. Now I have found similar ish products that were about seventeen dollars, but I apparently got a steal. I bought this for eight dollars, seven ninety nine. So uh, and. It's it's a way cleaner cut than I've had those push you yeah, know, bagel yeah, things before. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just great. didn't get nearly as clean as the 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 way that this cut it. Um, so I'm quite impressed. I don't think I want to leave it on my counter though, and I don't eat unsliced bagels enough to really need 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 it. But if you're that type of person, go find a toast master bagel slicer it does not toast it only slices but it's from toastmaster so there you go my first of the thrift wow. store gadgets I think and it was, it was seven but eight bucks seven ninety nine seven ninety nine i hear it i wow. still i washed around the sticker when i was uh <laughs> when i was cleaning so there it is seven ninety nine oh, there it is wow for for my bagel how much, slicer. How much bagels in texas I mean, I, I don't, I guess I don't have any context. I, I would say it's a very normal thing. There's a few chains, uh, a bagel chains. Um, we have Einstein bagel as a bagel chain. And then you can get bagels at say Dunkin' Donuts or. Um, oh, oh, okay. Like all the, you know, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. Um, they all have, you know, bagels. But really the only like bagel specific chain would be Einstein bagels in Texas and California. I know we have Noah's bagels and a few other bagel places. Um, a lot of people though, I mean, would, would most likely just buy the pre-sliced bagels at their grocery store is, is yeah. probably what most people do. We're not quite mm. as focused on bagels like New York is focused <laughs> no, on, on bagels. Bit, um, and okay. especially the fresh, like, ones that aren't pre-sliced where you would need a bagel slicer um m most people are ch getting them already in fact it was a chore for me to find unsliced bagels <laughs> there's i looked throughout my entire grocery store and there was wow. only one spot um in the bakery section so yeah you know what i thought one of them had wood glue on it you didn't <laughs> glue one together did you just with this yeah that was the first it... take i was hoping you weren't noticing <laughs> and, and we didn't have it mini was, that bagels wasn't cheese, that wasn't cheese that was yeah. wood glue <laughs> right I, exactly i can tell wood glue a mile away it was i was surprised how inexpensive it was it was only like 60 cents a bagel um and it was for those fancy like artisan oh, bagels oh wow okay i was okay. shocked by that <laughs> um but yeah yeah so there you go. The first of the thrift store gadgets. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. 
They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Uh, um, our email is from Linda Norman, who's talking about UV sanitizers. We showed one on the week uh, on the show a couple of weeks ago. She said, "I own one. I can speak to its effectiveness." And I recorded a short video about it. And here's the link below. So she's not talking about the one that we showed, but a UV sanitizer. And here's Linda's video. Hello, Dick and Chad. I just got finished watching this week's Gizwiz live stream. And I thought I would show you something. You showed off uh, a Kickstarter for a UV sanitizer for a phone. What I have is right here, and this is my little charging station here, and this is what's called phone soap. And it is a UV sanitizer for yeah. phones, well, anything flat that'll fit inside. So when you open it up, you can see the lights in here. And usually when I use it, I put my phone in that way because it lies nice and flat. Close it, the light comes on, and ten minutes later the light goes off, and the phone is clean. Now the reason that I chose to uh, get this one is actually because back in the know-how days on Twit, mm. Padre did a bacterial load test, a proper bacterial load test on several items, including a phone, where he swabbed and cultured before putting the phone into the phone soap, wow. and then put the phone into the phone soap unit, left it in there for the 10 minutes that it stays on, and then took it out, and then did a second swab on the phone, and it turns out that it actually does work. Wow. The phone went from a bacterial load that was kind of nasty, actually, to um, basically clean. So, again, I'm not endorsing a particular product here, but again, I got this one because of that particular episode of Know How. So, UVC does work. It does actually clean and kill bacteria. So, as long as the UVC lights that are inside whatever device uh, our proper UVC lights, it will actually kill bacteria. All right, thanks. That is crazy. I also feel like um, with that design compared to the design we saw with the Kickstarter, that Kickstarter was yes. kind of laid on top, and then it had the yes. other option of placing it on top of the unit, and it would chi charge. It'd be, it'd be really smart to have a Qi charger built in because that one was a kind of like a clamshell where it would go around both sides where the Kickstarter wasn't. I want that with a Qi charger in it. And then I'll charge my <laughs> phone, clean my phone. That's cool. A great video. Thank you, Linda. Yes. Uh, so, Linda, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And I think we have a, one more video from Mo. And then I think we're out of videos. So, we need videos. And if you sent me a video and I overlooked it, email me again uh, and remind me about it. Uh, a, a video, anything to do with a gadget, okay? New gadget, used gadget, a gadget that's been in the attic for 10 years. Uh, just make a two to three minute video. Make sure we can hear you and see the uh, gizmo and shoot in horizontal plane. Uh, put it on YouTube. You can, uh, there's a drop down menu, click unlisted. And that way, only people with the URL will be able to watch it. And send us that URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., you'll get a, the current issue of MAD. If you live outside other places in the world, I'll send you a high-res autographed image of Alfred E. Newman, uh, personally autographed to you. And you can print it wherever you are. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it this week. And do it today. Today. Uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the gizmo's letters now. Now. 
Jane Owl. Okay, so this letter is very interesting because it is from Ivan, and Ivan Hahn, H-A-H-N, is the person who did the opening, the new opening of the Gizwiz theme and Chad's crappy corner theme. So, Ivan, great to hear from you, and thank you again for those two themes. They, every time I look at them, I think, oh, God, we have to thank Ivan, so thank you. Uh, so Ivan says, hi, Dick and Chad, you were talking about the Victrola logo. I, I guess it was, I think it was last week or the week before. The dog called Nipper, the horn called his master's voice. My grandmother worked for RCA and I believe owned a Victrola. She worked in the factory making circuits for TV sets. So obviously she worked there for a long time. Um, I inherited some items she received while she worked there with the RCA logo. And so he has three of them. Uh, let's take a peek and then I can match what he said about them to the Oop. photos. Okay, so that's a necklace for her 10-year anniversary at RCA. Wow. Yeah. wow. Pretty neat. That is cool. Okay. And, oh, uh, this yeah. is um, a glass fruit bowl punch bowl with their logo. Okay, <laughs> so that's the logo. <laughs> and that's Nipper the dog that's uh, sitting in front of a Victrola. That's okay, weird. and the third one. Well, the third one I third have one? to find. I only saw two. Uh, let me see if I can get that third one real fast. Uh, okay, the third one we're looking for is a print of Nipper and Horn. And while he's looking for that, I, again, uh, Ivan, it is so great uh, to have fresh, <laughs> fresh videos of old gadgets. And uh, if we don't find it. Here it is. Got oh, okay, it. great. Okay. Uh, uh, and this is a print. Uh, just uh, getting uh, it so that y'all can see it. There we go. Boop. Here we are. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's like a very famous painting of Nipper That's crazy. and the horn and the one of the original Victrolas. I just love really how that style of sort of old marketing is like... <laughs> Here's the thing, like it's not, you know, it's not like the, a perfect logo. It's not like a perfect anything. It's like, yeah, this is what it does. It's the Victrola. <laughs> yeah, the guy yeah, listens yeah. to the thing. It's perfect. Yeah. I love, I That's love that great. style. That is so that cool. That is great. So Ivan, thank you. That was great. Uh, thanks for the images. And again, thanks for all the work you did on our two videos. Ivan, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan from uh, Brick, New Jersey. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support the show every single episode. Big, big, big thank you. If you support the show, thank you so much. We'd love to take a moment of every episode and say Thank you. Thank you so much. If you enjoy the show, please consider supporting over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You can also head to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there is a link to Patreon there. Or you can scroll just below that big Patreon banner, and there's a PayPal link if you want to give via PayPal. Um, that's always an option. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that is where we record live just about every Thursday, 4.30 uh, Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Just head on over there, join the chat room, or you can subscribe on iTunes. We have an RSS feed, we have a YouTube channel, and we're probably on the podcatcher of your choice. And you can also always look at the previous episodes right there on our website. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, and today I'm super excited because we get to find out what the heck was it. I, I don't know. I, I do not know what uh, the, the gadget was. Okay, there is a picture of it in operation there now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to what the heck is it. And... and it oh is my a, gosh, I would have never a, guessed. <laughs> 
Never it is guess. a walking stick or cane holder that clips onto a table so your cane doesn't fall on the floor. So that yeah, was so, the so there were tons <laughs> of Darth Vader entries. Yes, yes. There yes. were six people who knew what it was. Wow. Uh, but again, we, we like the, the weird ones. So, uh, these are some of them. It looks like a plastic toenail clipper doesn't work well, but you can get it past the TSA and carry it on an airplane. <laughs> says Mr. Tom swim his nose plug. Oh yeah. Uh, automatic jar opener. Could be that Darth Vader cloak for your nose. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite. Uh, uh, these people are so weird. It is a nun costume for a, a cat. <laughs> That's good. That's if you want good. to dress your cat up like a nun. You, okay. Um, a device that goes on the father's nose while they change baby's diaper. Uh, coax ca uh, cable stripper. It kind of looks I've, like it could do. I've used those. And yeah, it does look like that. Could be that. Biggest uh, potato chip bag ever. <laughs> Clip ever. <laughs> Uh, staple remover from the stapler stapler that we saw uh, last month. Mm. A lot of people entered that. Um, a microphone that clips onto your bird pet's perch <laughs> so he can <laughs> sing into it. Okay. Um, and then we have, it's the next baby version from Star Wars. First, it was Baby Yoda, which <laughs> is out now. And this is Baby Vader. Baby okay. Vader would do very good. Uh, Jeff sent that in. That is amazing. Um, pr pretty neat stuff. Uh, so yeah. this is oh, what so they win? Oh, so go to the new game. This so is here's what they the new won. thing. They, right. Da -da huh. huh. Well, uh, it's it's obvious to me um, that oh, this you're, is. Oh, okay. You're very good. You're very, very good yeah, at this. It's obvious. Obvious. Mainly you remember there used to be a TV show called yeah. Battle Bots. And this is oh, yes, yes. the Krabby Crab battle bot that they sold as a souvenir, a Krabby Crab. Oh, okay. uh, so sorry to give it away so early. We have two months of people now <laughs> it's knowing that it's the Krabby Crab, but uh, sorry to give that away. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. There are six Mad Magazines for correct answers but 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get creative over at gizwiz.biz. Gizwiz.biz also has articles about all the gadgets that we cover. And if you want the mobile-friendly version of that website, go to gizwiz.me to find all of the gadgets that we talk about during the episode. And uh, I mean all of them. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>